um, Eric and Kristen Hall, and we just got married three days ago. I'm 33, Eric's 29, we're Mormon, and we saved ourselves for marriage. The love of chastity is abstinence before marriage and complete fidelity to our spouse after marriage. We know that intimacy is one of the most beautiful gifts that God has ever given us. Those boundaries that we're given as members of the church are not to be restrictive and not to hold us back, but in fact to actually just push us in the right direction. The powers of procreation have been given to us by a loving Heavenly Father. The law of chastity, we believe, is part of our responsibility to take care of the power to procreate. To have children. It goes further than that too. It's keeping our, our thoughts clean. I live the law of chastity because I look forward to sharing just that very special and sacred thing with the person that I am planning to spend eternity with. By living the law of chastity, I have a lot of joy and happiness in my life. It's going to help strengthen my relationship with my spouse. Marriage is between a man and a woman, and it, and it is that way because you can't build a family without it. With procreation comes the importance of families and the importance of being together and supporting each other. Mormons think that the law of chastity is so important because it helps to preserve the family. For me, the law of chastity has allowed me to, to know what I really want in a companion. I know that the Lord loves us and of course He wants us to experience love in this life in strong relationships. He just wants to save us from heartache and regret that happens and when we don't follow the bounds that he's set. People who do wait, from my perspective and from what I've seen, they tend to be happier. They tend to be more united with that, uh, that person, that their spouse. I would say that for me, a big thing that's come over this last weekend since we've been married has just been the peace that's come within. Absolutely.